hello viewers um thanks for watching all my videos thanks for your comments thanks for your appreciation now many people have been confused with this very video that afri norman shah did um i'm going to explain deeply on uh, what and what he did that made his work uh, to be a success and what made it real please um don't be confused because i'm going to explain for you and i'm going to explain in details and i'm going to explain how this is being made possible so please if you have not subscribed to my channel please i want you to please subscribe to this channel press the bell notification give a thumbs up like the video and please i want you to um subscribe so you can be seeing all my videos the ones which i've posted the ones which i'm yet to post the one which in future time i will post so please do subscribe and here comes the explanation of his work that he did so let's dive into it as you can see he um he want to test the pma generator as you can see he wants to test it so with just a hand spinning with just a hand spinning as you can see he's using his hand to spin it just with a little spin the PMA generator is going to produce an amount of current as you can see he's testing it you can see it's bringing light to show the power of the flywheel on that PMA generator now he wants to use an external source to power the ac motor is this an external source he's using right now to power the 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 system he's connecting it to an a another source that we feed it first so you can see he's rolling he's rolling he's rolling this is an external system he is using he will later change it to the system now what he's trying to do is that so that the system can gain momentum can gain accurate speed before he will switch over before he will switch over that's what we call the belt tension adjuster what he's using right now yeah, yeah. it's called the belt tension adjuster can see you, you yeah you will soon switch it you will soon change it just be watching just be watching the simple trick on this is the flywheel the pma generator that is the simple secret behind anything you want to do or achieve in the flawless generator it's not like the normal Chinese gen you use or the normal Chinese configuration of your gen. It must now he wants to switch over. He wants to switch over. Just be watching. Be watching as he switch over. Now as he removes it, just watch. Now he has removed. He has removed it. It is the power of the flywheel now that is sustaining the energy. Now it it will be an over unity this stuff is being made possible by the flywheel the flywheel there the kg i guess i guess the kg will be around 60 kg flywheel because the flywheel is more than the normal lister gen that we know so this thing can power anything you want to power so that's just the simple trick behind this and um that's just it that's just it about about hello everyone I know many of us have been searching for the most genuine free energy device and we've settled for Norman Shah Afrodis device. And, and many of us have been wondering what really is behind his free energy device, which incidentally happens to be a modified version of Charles Campbell's original design. And some of us have even watched Mr. Afridis video over and over again and we still can't get the clues we want. So I decided I should make this video to share some of the secrets that people should know about if they plan on replicating his device. Point number one, use gears. If you're able to build one into the system, or use a belt tension adjuster to slowly drive the flywheel from rest to over unity. 
It's important to note that if your drive motor is able to spin the flywheel from rest even without a gear or a belt tension adjuster, then the motor is only putting a fraction of its energy into the flywheel, hence the system will not operate at over unity. This is central to the overall success of the system. Overload the system with energy and it just can't handle it. I would suggest you consider modifying the drive pulleys by making it larger or making the flywheel heavier to achieve the desired effect. Point number two, a low RPM permanent magnet alternator is your best bet. Otherwise, you have a hard time getting the system to operate at the speed required by most AC synchronous generators. Standard alternators require speeds of about 1500 RPMs or thereabouts to even remotely begin generating power. Permanent magnet alternators on the other hand, used in most wind and water generating systems have typical speeds of between 0 and 400 RPM. Point number 3. The ratio between the drive and takeoff pulleys on the flywheel must be significantly different. Use either 4 to 1, 3 to 1 or at least 2 to 1 ratio between the drive and takeoff pulleys respectively. Point number 4. The alternator must normally be able to withstand the load of the drive motor, plus any additional load intended. Use a 5kV alternator with a 2 horsepower motor for example. Similarly, use a 7kV alternator with a 3 horsepower motor for best results. Finally, point number 5. Be patient. To achieve the correct pulley arrangement and effect, you may have to experiment with many pulley sizes, often improvising due to limited maker specifications. You would occasionally feel discouraged, but you must press on. My personal opinion is that you use a flywheel of fixed mass and then focus on modifying the pulleys as required, reboring, resizing or replacing as is necessary.